Hey guys, Tomboy601, and well, Colbert is finally back in my port. Uh, rounded, went into the game the other day, and lo and behold, the Bureau Project had finished. I found myself not really using the, the boost functions very much on not doing the dailies for the Bureaus, just kind of letting them come my way, and well, uh, Colbert showed up, and I was like, you know what, this is perfect, we get Bayard today. You know, Colbert, Bayard, they're kind of spiritual, they're kin. One, they kind of look like each other, and two, they kind of, they're going to, I, at least I think, because of course I'm recording this before the video goes out, and therefore I don't have Bayard right now, but I will when this video goes live. Uh, but I have a feeling they're going to perform together, they're going to they're gonna be very similar. So this makes a wonderful little, like, hey, we're back, we're, we're, we got ourselves a uh, good old Colbert. Uh, our commander, we're using uh, Andre Lamonet, Lemon, Lemonier, uh, and we have Kuznetsov and Mikawa as our inspirations. Uh, if you're not familiar, I like to play uh, Colbert as a uh, kind of a hybrid, more of the uh, Super Atlanta style, i.e., uh, using the concealment, using some of the range to just just kind of set fires. Uh, if you haven't gotten Colbert already, uh, what makes her special is. She has a ton of guns that are destroyer caliber guns that you can uh, spam good old ships with. Uh, you have very high speed and on paper, very good armor, but in actuality, a it is, it is one that you need to be focused on. You need to understand how to play. You need to angle, uh, but it is very hard to angle because if you can see, there are a lot of 90 degree faces on this boat. 90 degree faces mean that angling is, is usually a bit harder to do. So yeah, that's that's where we are. Anyways, uh, we spawned here over on sea. Uh, we're kind of, we've taken up this kind of position behind the islands here. The idea of course is try to use these islands for cover, especially because as we saw out there, we do have a Musashi and Musashi can absolutely slap us if he so chooses so uh we're we're gonna try to stay concealed try to annoy them try to get some perma fires on there and of course we've seen three ships over here but uh i th i think you know one of them kind of transferred over from mid so that tells us there's probably a destroyer about that we will want to hunt down at some point and in fact there is the destroyer maybe the destroyer spawned in mid either way we are going to want to uh, see what we can do with the destroyer. What we've done here is uh, Conqueror is using the smoke screen over there as cover. Uh, and we were going to kind of drop cover from behind that island. We see our teammate is here in C. We're going to come in to see, help him get the cap. Because once again, don't I, I can't say this enough, guys. Capture points are how you win the game. Or at least, you know, when it's not capture the base. When it's domination like this. Uh, capture points super super important so uh we're gonna come in help capture c that way our team gets some points on the board we're we're looking around we can see our team has taken a which is nice uh unfortunately our two destroyers are both over there and i guess they spawn together they div together so we have it a bit rougher over here because we don't have uh we don't have a destroyer out here on our wing but luckily we do have some very skilled destroyer players we'll see them a a bit more in action a little bit later uh that smoke screen still providing cover for us as as the battleships sit in the smoke of course remember if you're in a battleship uh you don't get you get a benefit while sitting in smoke it is not the benefit that most other people uh really get when sitting in smoke and being able to fire uh the just the range uh that battleship guns can be spotted when firing in smoke is absolutely massive and well it usually means that uh if ships are in mid medium ranges you are going to be able to spot them and we can see another smoke screen is also providing us cover as we begin to assault this republic a republic is taking uh some wonderful adva uh, evasive maneuvers as we try to try to dial in with the colbert of course that is one of the struggles with the colbert and it's something you need to warm up to in Colbert uh, is to be able to kind of lead these shells and read where the enemy is going because, well, they're very floaty shells. They're destroyer shells with 
Um, and when you run someone like Kuznetsov and you have Beyond Range on here, you're shooting destroyer shells well past uh, where you usually would, right? When was the last time you saw a destroyer with a 17 kilometer range? You don't really see it, right? You, the, the, the shell velocities not really designed to be effective at the long ranges. They're kind of just there to help you when you have those nose in battleships who want to stand still. Uh, it really helps. Anyways, we saw Alan M. Sumner right over there. We know where the enemy destroyer is. Uh, so we are going to kind of see him dodge and weave over there. We're kind of trying to debate what we want to do here. Because one, our team is doing fairly well for now, right? We have A, B. We have A and C. And it looks like we're about to take B. But we are, we are also in some precarious spots, right? We're only one ship up. Both teams still have de their destroyers up. Both teams still have uh, fairly substantial sides. Uh, and this may be our, our advantage because one of the downsides to Colbert is, you know, while you have speed, while you have sonar, you don't have a radar. And looking around, there isn't any radars in the area. So we're going to... We're going to go in for some risky business here. We are going to try and spot and maybe try to take out the Sumner, depending on what he does, because, uh, you know, we, we at least have an idea. We have an, we have a, we have an expectation of his quadrant. We can try to guess what he's going to do. So we're going to pop on that sonar, try to use the, the, the island cover to kind of push up, um, and see what we can do. We can spot those torpedoes for our friendlies and we can see given how close they are in the angles. Uh, that Sumner has to be close by, and, and more. In fact, we get uh, we get confirmation as he opens fires on us. We we shoot the gap right there. We see if we can get anything else. We check see if Musashi is looking at us. Musashi, no mini map Musashi over there. Uh, we're not shooting at him, so he doesn't care about us. God bless the Musashi player right here. We're like, okay, I'm feeling a bit more confident here, right? Uh, if we choose not to engage this Musashi, it looks like he's not going to mess with us this is this is this is a good thing of course we've hit the minimum detection radius we're like you know what screw it we are we're gonna push in we're gonna we're gonna try to do some damage we're gonna see if once we start tapping him if he decides that uh that engaging us is is the good idea also let's see if we can use the smoke to engage this musashi uh just depending on how close this uh this gearing is because as we were talking about earlier we know we have destroyer caliber guns. Smoke firing penalty on Colbert isn't too bad. So, in theory, we if the if the gearing had buggered off, if he had if he had you know gotten out of there, we could have hermit crabbed into his smoke and uh, engaged the Musashi from stealth. Unfortunately, that's not how this is going to go. So instead, it's time to run down this Sumner and then engage the Musashi in a bonsai charge. That's, that's about the plan right here. Of course, uh, the small, fast-firing destroyer guns are going to do very short work of the Sumner right here. Musashi gets a good salvo off on us. Uh, and, well, we are in close range with the Musashi. French AP is still French AP, no matter how small the AP is. And we can see one big old chunk there for the double strike, taking him down. And now, well, in all that chaos, we are down to 3v3. And the enemy looks like they're about to be up on capture points. Uh, the one one of the destroyers has made his way over to our side, uh, and uh, we have the Montana. So one advantage to us is we are all together. Our team has its firepower concentrated in one area. Let's see if we can make make this work. Uh, of course, I don't know exactly what the enemy team has uh, as far as health goes. Minotaur pops up right here. Beautiful couple things we love about Minotaur. One, rel relatively light armor. AP and HE will sail right through it. Two, um, if he does smoke screen, uh, he has he has such little health that we should be able to gun him down before he gets into that smoke screen. So uh, that's the plan. We're gonna go ahead and open up with HE just because we don't we can kind of guess his angle on the mini maps. But with small guns in Minotaur uh, and at being at medium range, sometimes things don't work out with AP. So HE is always the safe call on Mino. Excellent. We're here. Uh, we are now up on ships. Um, we, we ask our, uh, we ask our wonderful destroyer. Hey, uh, can you get into C? 
uh, or can you get into B? We're going to go over here on the left-hand side. We should be able to get a decent crossfire. Uh, Colbert has excellent firing angles and excellent ability to lob shells. So if we can get over onto the side over here, we should be in a fairly good uh, position. Turns out one of the enemy, one of the other enemy ships is another Colbert. Uh, we need to get a little bit further back on the island in order to be able to lob shells at him. But the other enemy ship is a good old conqueror. But before we can even line up shots on him, well, he goes down. So it is just uh, Colbert V3. And you know what? It's time. It's, it's this, this is where I'm like, okay, do we, do we, we don't have a ton of health. We have a decent amount of health, right? We, we've recovered from our uh, bout of, of Musashi. We've, we've, we've gotten that done. But uh, do we want to try to push in on a full health Colbert? Colbert takes a big ol' hit right here. He's running for the map board, and we're like, you know what? YOLO, we got we got three ships. Uh, we've already seen Delny knows how to play the, the destroyer out there. So even if uh, Montana goes down and that and I go down uh, chasing after Colbert right here, because, of course, a um, little hint for y'all, uh, running away much better, much easier to dodge shells than when charging towards. Uh, so if we can if we can do this correctly, or even if we don't do this correctly, we're our team fixing for the win. We're not we're not throwing away the win at this point. All we're doing is helping that other Colbert, if anything, uh, get a little more points. Uh, you know, make make the loss hurt. Just a little bit less if we end up charging him down. But as you can see, uh, as we were talking about earlier, I was like, okay, this part is like, do we do we attempt to just disengage because we've kind of overextended here? Um, and yeah, at this point, we're like, oh, he's up against the island. He's he's only got one way to go. We should be able to engage him fairly easy. We get the AP off because, of course, uh, Colbert, you know, easy easy to arm. Anyways, we pull out the dreadnought. We get the double. Uh, the double strike. I think we got one other medal, but yeah, guys, that's the Colbert. Like I said, I'm, we just got back in the port. Happy to see it. And uh, today we should be getting Bayard. So that's even more exciting. Guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.